Hey guys, sorry if my hair looks a mess. It's um, another dialysis day. It's Friday, and um, dialysis has been really tough for me lately. I've been having a lot of anxiety. Um, it's a long story. I may make a video on it. But anyway, um, my sisters and my family are at the high school football game, first one of the season. Um, so she went with them, her best friend, one of her best friend's sisters, um, they're twins, are cheerleaders. So she went ahead, she wasn't going to go, and then she decided she wanted to. And, of course, my family goes so she can see all of them. And so I had the house to myself. So I thought I'd film. Um, I want to show you guys my makeup collection. Um, I want to start off by saying I'm not bragging in any way. I don't own a lot of makeup. Um, I like to try different kinds of makeup. And someday I hope to have a few more high-end products just to try them. Just to say that I've used them. Um, I have a couple. But they were like gifts, or I got them like for a really cheap price or something, or like I got them like a Ipsy bag or something like that. So, um, yeah, I'm not trying to brag. And um, I don't know if you guys are interested in seeing this or not, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you anyway. Um, this is my makeup bag. This is the back. It's just striped, and then the front has the snap closure and the zipper and you can tell it's really packed in there and I got this from Target and the brand is Contents but I got it because it holds a lot of stuff and when I used to go to the Radio Disney events with Katie um, this held like everything and this is basically like what I call my everyday makeup it's like makeup I wear a lot now I'm not I don't wear like all of this when I wear makeup, but these are what I gravitate toward on my makeup collection. Um, I have a few more like eyeshadow palettes. They're like cheap ones that are from like Claire's and stuff like that. Um, but those are like bright eyeshadows, so those are what I usually wear like for Halloween <laughs> or um, something like that. Otherwise, this is all my makeup. I think the only thing I'm not showing you guys is a, yeah, an eyeshadow palette I got from Rue 21, which is a clothing store here in Indiana, and um, maybe one Wet n Wild trio, and I think that's it. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started, because I do have quite a bit of products. The first thing, I went ahead and took this out. It's just the e.l.f. Um, eyeshadow C brush. It, you guys, if you get e.l.f. brushes, try to get the ones with black candles. That's their professional line. And these are $3 if you buy them like at Target, um, Walmart. I'm trying to think where else sells e.l.f. Target. Oh, Walgreens. Um, black handle is usually the $3, and the white handles are the $1, but the white ones do not hold up as well. So, I just got another one of these because we still haven't found my makeup brushes. They're lost somewhere in my parents' house. No telling where they're at, so hopefully we find them soon. But until then, at least now I have an eyeshadow brush so I can start doing my makeup again. So that's the first thing I have in there. And then... These I have not tried yet. These are the um, color tattoo pigments that I picked up from Dollar Tree. And this one is the Tough and Buff color. And I guess I can swatch it for you guys. I'm, I mean, why not? I haven't opened them. It's, this will be the trick. Let's see if I can get it open. There we go. Ooh, I like this. It has a little, little tiny piece of paper on top just to keep it all in. Oh, 
Hold on, you guys. Okay. Let's see here. Let's tap a little bit into our lid. That's probably the most annoying sound ever. Sorry, guys. Can't even really you can't really see that one at all. It's really light. And it's good in lid color. But yeah, I'll have to try these. But anyway, I have the tough and buff, which is this one. I get the lid back on. The tough and buff. I'll show you guys the I don't know if you can see the name there. Go focus. Maybe. And then I have the Breaking Bronze color. They're almost exactly the same. I thought I almost picked up two of the same, but I didn't. So I have the Breaking Bronze. Like I said, I haven't tried either of those, but they seem really good. So I'll have to give those a try. And then next, I got it on my shirt now. Next, um, they have this, it's the Mary Kay powder foundation and it's in one of the lightest colors that it comes in one of the lightest shades and I cannot wear liquid foundation at all it especially in the summertime it just melts off my face it's heavy um, so I have to wear powder foundation and one of my old co-workers his wife was selling it or selling the Mary Kay and so I went ahead and bought it from her I think it's not up here. that's the color you see it's like really light but it's really airy let's see as I spill it everywhere that's what the inside looks like and um, it's really like light and airy on the face it gives good coverage though, and I really like it. You can see it blends in well with my skin tone. You can't really see it. Um, but yeah, I really, really enjoy this. I probably won't purchase it again though, because it's like 14 or $15, so it's kind of expensive. But, I mean, there's a lot in there. Like, it's lasted a long time. And I don't wear this every day. I don't wear a foundation every day. I don't have a lot that um, I need to cover or want to cover. I mean, I have redness here and there, but um, I really don't care what people think of what my face looks like. So I just wear makeup because I like to. <laughs> so uh, not because I'm trying to hide anything. So that's that. Then we have the NYC bronzer. This is my favorite bronzer. This is in Sunny. Um, this is the one a lot of the YouTube gurus talk about. And like I said, it's one of my favorite. It has a mirror on the top. You can tell. I've had this for a long time too. Hit pan on it. But it's good for, I guess, well, it's good for my skin tone. But it blends out really nicely. It's a nice contouring shade. Um, I just like it a lot. Let's see if I can. Yeah, you guys can see that it's really light. I like it. I mean, it like I said, it blends out really nicely. Um, and like I said, I've used it a long time. I just usually, if I wear any makeup at all, I contour. You know, the cheekbone area, a little bit under the chin, a little bit on the temples, but. Not a whole lot, but that's my favorite bronzer, so I have that in there. And then this is one of the high-end products I was talking about. It's Naked Basics Palette by Urban Decay. Um, my sister got me this for my birthday last year. Um, my parents got her the um, Naked 2 palette, I think. And so then she got me this for my birthday. And I really like it. It has a mirror on the top, and I'm trying to cover so you guys don't get blinded. 
And then it just has like, like, a, like I said, these basic colors. You get black, dark brown. Like this is good for if you don't wear eyeliner, you can, like I use that as an eyeliner. This is a good like crease or out of corner shade. This is a good crease shade. And then you got this shade that's good for like your all over lid. And that's a good all over lid. And then you got your your highlight color. But this is a good um, travel palette because it has all your colors. It's not that expensive. I think it's like $25, maybe $35. So it is like, it's a little expensive, but it's worth it. Um, it's a very good makeup. It has a lot of pigment. Um, I guess I can show you guys the color. Um, I'll do the darkest color here so you guys can see it. But that's what it looks like on my finger. And then... See right there. I mean, that's good color pigment. And that's just like, you know... That right there is three swipes. And then it's... It's one of the lighter colors. You can kind of see it right there. But, like I said, it's good for traveling because you have all your basic colors. And I don't really like to wear a lot of color shadows. I'm more of a neutral girl, so this is perfect. But I got that, so that's one of my fancy items, <laughs> as I call it. And then I have this Revlon. It's um, Girl Luscious mascara I'm not a fan of this but this actually needs to go in the trash I've had this for a long time it was really cheap so that's why I bought it because it was on clearance and that's the wand so I mean it's a really thick wand but I just don't yeah it has a really bad smell to it it's always had a bad smell, so I don't know, maybe that means it was bad to begin with. Um, it did make my eyelashes look thicker, but I just, this was not a good mascara, so I don't know why that's in there. I just need to get rid of that. I've had that for a while. And then I have the e.l.f. eyeliner, and this one's in black, and it's just the felt tip liquid eyeliner and I really 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 like this product this is one of my like favorite eyeliners um, you do have to be careful because this dries out pretty easily uh, you're supposed to keep it stored like this I don't so I think that's my problem um, but I really like you can get a really good precise line um, I don't do winged eyeliner, but if you did, you, this would work really well. Um, I highly recommend this. I think it was like 2 maybe $3, but I think it was $2. So, not bad at all, and it, it works really well. And it stays on. I think it is, I want to say it's waterproof. Yeah, mine's waterproof. So, it stays on, but then... Like, it stays on, but then again, it comes off when you use, like, a baby wipe or makeup remover wipe. I use baby wipes to take off my makeup. It's cheaper. <laughs> um, looks like I have a big old bruise on my hand now for where that was. Okay. Next, I have the Elf um, Blush and Bronzer. This was compared to, I want to say it was... MAC, I think it was MAC, um, Laguna and Orgasm, um, blush and bronzer, and so that's why I bought this. This was originally like $3 at a, um, like convenience store near me, and then they were going out of business, so I got it for like, I think it was like 75 cents, maybe a dollar. So I was really happy with that because everybody says this is like an exact dupe for those, that bronzer and um, blush. So I haven't tried it yet. Um, I just bought this right before Christmas 
And then I was like in the hospital and everything, so I haven't got to try this yet. So I am excited. I will probably use this more in the winter because it's a deeper um, blush color. So I'll, yeah, but I will be, if, once I use it, I'll give you guys a review of it. Um, like I said, people compare it to the Orgasm and Laguna blush and bronzer. Then I have, I don't know, my perfume is in there. This is the Viva La Juicy Noir and the Viva La Juicy. You guys have seen this in my purse. Um, I really like the Noir one. I like it a lot better in the spray, but, you know, this smells good still. Then this is just a blush that I got in an Ipsy bag, or my sister got an Ipsy bag, I don't know. I haven't tried it. I probably just threw it in here. Looks like a nice color though, so it's that blush. And then this is one of my favorite products. This one's a little dirty. It's the um, NYX or NYX, however you want to say it. Um, I crayon pencil thing, chubby crayon in milk. And this is good for like your inner corner. Um, underneath your eyebrow to highlight, um, you can swipe it on your cheekbone, like your upper cheekbones, and blend it out, and it's a good highlight. Um, it also works really well as a base to put all over your eyelid and, um, make sure your eyeshadow stand out more. I want to compare this to the, I think it was Milani that I just bought, um, their white eyeshadow pencil and do a side by side maybe that'll be one of my next videos and see if they both work you know just as equally well um this is my rimmel i think it's rimmel yeah this is my rimmel um nude eyeliner and I just got this because for a while, you can tell I used it quite a bit. Um, I like to wear eyeliner on my tight line. Um, it does make my eyes water quite a bit though. And um, so I haven't done it in a while. But this one, it's good to wear like a nude or um, nude is the best. But you can also wear white um, eyeliner on your tight line. Instead of wearing black, because it makes your eyes more open. Especially if you have, like, small little slanted eyes like I do. Um, it makes your eyes stand out. So, I have that. And this one, like I said, is from Rimmel. And then, I have this Mary Kay blush. And it has just cute little packaging like that. <coughs> Excuse me. And open it up. And I've had this forever too. And look, it's just that much. Oh, I dropped it. Oh well. <laughs> but yeah, that's a good blush. And then, okay, this product, I got this on a whim. It's the Simple Powder in 515 from CoverGirl. And I think it's being discontinued. I got this from Target. It was on clearance for like $2. So I picked it up. And. I'll open it to show you guys. First of all. The container itself is broken. Like the lid. Comes like. All the way off if you're not careful. And it has a mirror up here, so I'll cover that. And then it came with a little sponge. And then it's actually like a good tone. Like it's my skin tone. But I don't like it. It says you can wear it as um, a foundation. I wouldn't. It gives, like, it takes a lot of it to get coverage. 
So it's good as a powder, like to put over, um, to put over foundation if you're gonna wear like a liquid foundation, or like if your skin's extra oily and you want to wear powder. Um, but to wear as a foundation, I don't recommend, and that's probably why it's being discontinued or for whatever reason was on clearance because it's not the best product. Let's see, and then oh, I have a NYX eyeliner in Relac, and it's one of those retractable kinds. I don't know if you guys can see that. And I really like that kind. Um, this doesn't go on quite as smooth. I mean, it goes on smooth. Like you guys see it. And it's really dark. But it's not as easy for me to apply as the e.l.f. eyeliner. I like the e.l.f. eyeliner, eyeliner a lot better. But this is still a good eyeliner. This is only... I think it's $2.99. I got this at Ulta, but I know like CVS is now selling NYX. Um, Target sells NYX. So, yeah. Then next. That is. That doesn't need to be in there. This um, L'Oreal um, Voluminous eyeliner and I think it's like the million lashes like the whole like branding is starting to come off but I really like this this was I don't know if this is the same tube no this isn't the same tube I bought another one the first time I bought this it was like nine dollars but it was on sale like on clearance marked down to four dollars. Is that right? Yeah. And then I had a three dot or there's a coupon on it for two dollars off. So I ended up paying two dollars for a nine dollar mascara. And then the second time it was marked down to like five dollars and it had the two dollar off coupon on it. So I got it for three. But that's the one. And this does a really good job of making my eyelashes more voluminous. Um, I'm not so concerned about how long they are, but they're not very thick. Um, so this does a good job of that. It smells strong though. It smells like a mascara, like a mascara smell. I like mascaras that don't have a smell to them, and that one def definitely does. And then this is my other splurge product. Um, it's the They're Real Mascara by Benefit. I got this um, discounted from a friend. She bought it and she didn't realize that she had one. So she sold this one for cheaper than it was. So I got it for like $15. And I really like this kind. That was the wand. Um, it does an excellent job of separating, lengthening, everything. I really like this. Um, now I won't buy it again because, I, again, I can't get it for that cheap. But if I could, I definitely would because I really like it. Um, next, let's see what's this. Oh, just another NYX eyeliner. I got a couple of those apparently. And then next, I got this blush. It hasn't been opened yet. I got it from the Ipsy bag or one of those bags, something like that. Then I have this. Let me open it for you guys. Maybe. Come on. It's a cargo blush. I really like this. Um, a pit pan on it, as you can see. It's not very pigmented. I mean, it looks like it would be, but it's not. Um, it takes quite a bit of it to show up, so it just gives the slightest bit of color, and I like that. The only thing I don't like is I like um, more powdery 
plushes um, that pick up on the brush real well. This doesn't. This is very, like, packed in, and it, like I said, it takes a heavy hand to get onto the brush. But I like it. I mean, it gives a good color. Just trying to make sure it's on. But it comes in this cute little tin. And like I said, it's the cargo brand. This is more of a high end product. Um, but also, I got a whole gift set that was like, man, 15 No, I paid 20 Pretty sure it was $20 for a whole set of cargo products. And it was normally like 50 And I got a lipstick. I got. Eye sh two eyeshadows, I got the blush, I think I got something else, but I can't remember. Oh, a mascara, I got a mascara. And then, I think the last thing in here, as I'm looking, oh, nope, I have two things. Okay, first is this little uh, Reveal 2 palette. I got this in an Ipsy bag, but I really like this. I want to buy the full palette. Um, it has like all your perfect colors. Like it's got your your crease and like well, like your outer corner, your crease color. Um, that's more of like a crease color, and then this. But what I what I did instead of I just didn't use this one. And I use that one as an all over, this one as a crease, and then this one as an outer corner. But you could use this one as all over, and then that as a crease, and this one as an outer corner. And then this would be like an eyeliner color. But I really like this. I want to buy the palette. And then the other little thing, I have not used this yet. This came in, I think my sister got this, and then she gave it to me. It's just a little eyeshadow. And a cute little book. And they sell this kind at Kohl's. The, like, oh, I don't know what it's called. But it's like, Be Matt or Mr. Matt or something like that. Some weird name, but, yeah, I can't open this, though. But, yeah, so anyway, that's my makeup collection. Like I said, it's not a whole lot. Gotta get this makeup off my hand. Um... And it's mostly like, like I said, not cheap, but it's like everyday stuff that you can buy at like CVS and stuff like that. But I like it, and like I said, I don't, I don't know. I don't know if it's something you guys want to see or not, but um, I thought it would be something neat to share with you guys. And hopefully, let's see, I'm trying to think. I don't know. I don't know if I'll get another video up after this one before I announce the winner or not. Um, like I keep saying, don't forget to enter. It's coming down to the wire. Today's the 21st. So you have six days to enter. And in seven days, I will be 27. Oh my gosh. Old, old me. Um, but yeah, um, don't forget to enter, um, leave me comments, I love talking to you guys. Um, the other thing I wanted to mention was if anybody wants to do any kind of like friend mail swap, um, just let me know because I really enjoy buying gifts for people and my sister is going to start working a second job. Um, her choice, not, um, it's at Bath and Body Works like she does every year, and they want her back, and so she's going back so she can get extra spending money, and she's starting to teach dance again, um, in about two weeks, in about two weeks, so, um, I'll have a little extra money that I can, um, spend on myself, and so I can do more, like, swaps and stuff like that. And I really enjoy buying gifts for people and just seeing their reaction. So if you guys, if any of you want to do a swap 
Um, just leave me a comment, shoot me a message. Um, I'll put my email in the description bar. Uh, you can send me an email and I would love to do one. So um, just let me know. And thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.